keep in mind the guiding principle, get a well-balanced diet. A well-balanced diet consists of 60% carbohydrates, 25% protein, and 15% fats. All these other ratios you've been reading about lately come from not reputable nutritional scientists, but food fattists and nutritional mythologists. A 60-25-15 is a well-balanced diet. You've heard of the four basic food groups, cereals and grains, fruits and vegetables, meat, fish, poultry, milk. And if you get your daily, con in fact, I just realized this six months ago, if you're getting a well-balanced diet, if you're obtaining your daily complement of the four basic food groups, you have a 60-25-15 ratio. Remember, muscle is not mostly protein, it's mostly water. Now look at, the, look at the word carbohydrate. The suffix hydrate means water. As you probably all know, the carbohydrate stores in the muscle becomes a chain of sugar molecules called glycogen. And every gram of glycogen stored in the muscle chemically bonds with and holds three grams of water. When you go lower than 60% carbohydrates on a high intensity program, you're gonna burn the glycogen out of the muscle, not restore it, and the water that was chemically bonded will leave the muscle too, and the muscle becomes flat, flaccid, and dehydrated. And if you stay on it long enough, you'll actually go into muscle catabolism. Your muscle will actually break down, go to the liver, and through a very complicated process called gluconogenesis, will turn your own body's protein into sugar. So sugar ain't the bogeyman it's been made out to be. It should predominate in a well-balanced diet. You can optimize. You can, you can make your recovery ability optimum for your own genetics by eating an adequate, well-balanced diet, but you can't, by stuffing in supplements and huge quantities of food, make it super great. No. There is no such thing as super nutrition, only optimum nutrition. Your body can only utilize so much nutrients. Any excess will either be excreted or checked.